What we're going to look at now is sending the runner forward, which is what we do uh, after, during attack, when we are changing this runner from being the active working runner to the lazy runner. So when we send this runner forward, what we're going to do is stop about halfway uh, when the block is probably just forward of the gate and we're then going to pull tight on both the runner tail and the tricing line. What that will do is form a guard of the runner inside of any flogging Yankee sheets to protect crew that are working in the forward part of the cockpit. Just as we did when we brought the runner on, it's important to make sure all our lines are free and not twisted up. So I'm just going to run the runner tail through my hand. Nice big loops, making sure, as we can see there, you've got a little knot in it, to undo any knots as they go through. We're going to lay it on the deck and make sure our tricing line is free to run as well. So what we're going to do in this operation is we're going to be easing out on the runner tail, which is the working part of the runner, and pulling in on the tricing line, which is what we use to secure the runner in the forward position. Be aware, when you go to take this out of the self-tailor, this line is under a serious amount of load. It's very important you use good winch protocol and take most of the tension off before removing any more turns from the drum. Ease it out. If you ease it out too quickly, you're putting a lot of shock load into the rig as it bounces. So we ease off the tension. Once most of the load is off, we can drop down so there's just one turn left around the winch and that turn will help remove any twists from the runner tail. We're then going to start pulling in on the tricing line. We make a nice call of runner going forward. And when the tricing line, or sorry, when the runner is about halfway forward, so here, we're going to secure the tricing line again and pull tight on the runner tail. We're just going to hold it in this position. If it's a little bit hard to hold, you might want a second turn around the drum. What that's going to form is the guard for the cockpit. Once the sheets have stopped flogging and we're ready to put the runner all the way forward, we then release the runner tail again and pull in on the tricing line until the runner is all the way forward. So once the runner is all the way forward, the tricing line goes into the cam cleat again. We then just pop a couple of turns around the runner tail pull it hand tight and secure it off in the self-tailor. That's the runner all the way forward, but we're not quite finished yet. We want to make sure we tidy up all this line so it's ready to use in the next tack. Same as before, nice figure of eights. You'll see there's not much runner tail left because we pulled it all the way forward. But what you do have a lot of is a lot of tricing line. So you're just going to figure of eight this nicely around a winch, like so. And that way, you've got the least chance of getting twists and knots in the line. Should be ready to go again when you want to pull it back.